we didn't want this to be just another transformation. We wanted to blow people's mind. Sapna has been asking me what after this. Once the program ends, I will publish his report. Do you have any message for the guys who are watching? All right, hey guys, my name is JC. Bala here. And uh, welcome back to Train with JC and Bala. So, Bala, what's new? <laughs> We're nearing uh, the whole transformation. So, that's something which is putting a thought in their mind, ki what after that? Okay. <laughs> so, Sapna has been asking me what after this. So, right. I've given her some instructions that you know, we have to uh, stay in the regime, slowly ramp up in the calories, get into a comfortable zone. But the new thing is the update. The last one week, again, very consistent with the training. Steps has been same. I dropped the calories about 50 only. 1350 is what she is doing. How many inches lost so far now? 5.1 so far. From nice. the start, yes. So last week, 0 0.6 dropped. And, and just to uh, clear everyone once again, five inches in the waist. Only in the waist. Yeah. There's a lot more inch loss across yeah. the body. Yeah. And uh, visible changes you will definitely see. So far, going very smoothly. I've asked her about hunger. She said no hunger so far. So that's good. I've replaced all the low satiety food items with high satiety. So mm -hmm. she's uh, Give us an example. So the chocolates are gone, <laughs> yeah. all the you know low satiety food, additional curd which I used to add along with the meal, right. that is gone. But the solids are coming in like right. chicken, rice, a little bit of oil for cooking, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits. Mm -hmm. And she has preference for watermelon as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, the quantity of watermelon will be much higher than other fruits as well. Got it. Got it. So there's a regular fruit, which is banana or something which she eats in right. the morning, right. Right. but right. a right. big chunk of watermelon in the evening. And all that, yeah. I think it goes on to show that, uh, you know, results are possible. It doesn't matter whether you're 41 year old, 51 year old. I mean, she's 41. Postmenopause? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Don't so, 41 is typically, you know, maybe in no, the she's in perimenopause, right yeah, yeah. Peri, peri stage, maybe. Peri stage. Um, right. And she has managed to build a decent amount of muscle mass. And the reason why she was able to do it is because there's something about eating clean and training hard, you know. So, all of you guys, if a 41 year old, old woman can display so much uh, consistency and results in just a matter of not even three months, you can imagine, you know, men can also do same, you know, I mean, men generally, they have the advantage because uh, the baseline is typically higher, yeah. right? So even though men and women gain muscles almost at the same pace, same but, rate. yeah, same, yeah, but the, but the baseline is set higher for men. Yeah. So if a woman can do that, you know, men can also do that. Men also generally have higher recovery, um, you know, because of high testosterone levels compared to women. I mean, uh, this is something which... It's all, again, subjective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More. But a point being that, you know, a 41-year-old perimenopausal, I'm assuming, a woman can build muscles in just a matter of three months. And here's the fun part. No supplements? She's taken whey protein. Whey protein. That's okay. It. So, whey protein, but no creatine. Nothing. Uh, no, nothing. And obviously no drugs or whatever. So people out there who think that this is not possible naturally, well, it very much is. Um, in my case, Deepak is not even having whey protein. So we categorically wanted him to do this without taking any supplements whatsoever. And uh, his weight today morning was 103.5. So that's basically <laughs> uh, overall weight loss of roughly, you can say 22. 5 kgs. 22.5 yeah. kgs. Very soon, maybe he'll be like 23 kgs and yeah. So, <laughs> and less than three months. Less than three months. Yeah. Less than three months. If you go back to the very original video, uh, we had set out very aspirational targets because obviously if me and Bala are training somebody and doing this live, we didn't want this to be just another transformation. We wanted to blow people's mind. It was a live transformation. It was a, it was a difficult ordeal, you know, and I hope you guys will appreciate that, you know, we are almost nearing the goals that we had originally set out to. And uh, I think by the end of this whole challenge, you know, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is seeing overall changes in the blood parameters. Yes. I yes. have a hunch that Deepak's testosterone level would have improved. You know, his cholesterol sure. profile would have improved. His, For sure. his CBC, his lipid, his kidney function, liver function, all of that would have drastically improved. Now, remember, that we have not taken his blood test in the interim. We only took the full body blood test 
uh, in the beginning. beginning. HB even C we were taking fasting blood glucose we were taking month after month because he is also taking metformin right so to be able to adjust the dosage you know we were taking the HB one C and fasting blood glucose but we haven't done the full body blood test yet. Once the program ends I will publish his report. I have no idea if the report is going to be far far better or if the report is going to be bad. Be better. I right? don't think it will be bad. Based on my personal experience you would see tremendous differences in his all the blood profile including his testosterone levels. A lot of people out there who uh, you know resort to taking testosterone boosters I think it will be a good learning for you guys also that you don't really need to eat you know all this random shilajit and ashwagandha and all that nonsense just consistently focus on building right habits and your testosterone levels will improve. I don't have his final blood report yet. We'll take it on probably 31st. 31st. And you should yeah. be able to see the date on the blood report. But I'm having a hunch that his testosterone levels have definitely gone better. Sure. 100%. And I and think same, the case same with thing uh, will Sapna. happen with Sapna yeah. also. Yeah. So we'll put, publish the report and I'm sure she has improved her yes, parameters as well. For sure. The only thing which I feel that probably might have gone down is his vitamin D levels. Which that's is about fine. It, which I think uh, can be supplemented. That's all. Or, yeah. Uh, but again, you know, we don't know that. I yeah. mean, I don't remember what was his original vitamin D levels. But maybe if there is some sort of a, a decline, that might be typically in vitamin D because he doesn't walk much. Like he's mm. not out in the sun much. Out in the sun. And because he's not taking any supplementation, right? If his vitamin D stays in the range, we'll not supplement with vitamin D. But if his vitamin D levels change and if they are in a in a low range, then we'll probably give him some sort of a medical grade vitamin D, talking to his doctor and all that, right? We'll, um, but apart from that, I think he would see uh, positive results in all of his blood parameters. His HRV, RHR has anyways improved, improved quite a lot, right? Yeah. which we monitor on a regular basis. So his HRV has improved, her rest resting heart rate has improved, sleep has improved. And uh, yeah, what else? And very few days left now, maybe just one more week, I guess. One more week. Yeah, so today is 23rd. 23rd, so yeah, 31st. So 31st. So another 8 to 10 days. 8 to 10 days. I feel like Deepak will be able to lose another 1.5 kgs in that time. So it come down to maybe 102 kgs. 102, 101. 102 or somewhere in 101, which will be a good weight loss of 25 kgs. 25 kgs. In a matter of 3 months. That would be fantastic yeah. to achieve in 3 months. And again, I'm also suspecting that his HB1C HB will continue to drop further. Last time we did the blood test. It was 6.6. Uh, .6. So I'm assuming that by the end of this month, it would be somewhere in a below 6 range, maybe even 5.5, who knows. Quick if question. that happens, you'd have to get rid of metformin. Yeah. Quick question. What is the calorie intake now? 2000 calories. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not change his calorie intake. In fact, he was getting worried uh, last week that JC, what if I don't achieve the target? I said, dude, you already achieved, you already so achieved the target. You already, <laughs> see, 20 kgs in a matter of three months itself is like a big deal. Big deal, yeah. Right. So I told him not to worry and take it easy. And surprisingly, when he started getting relaxed, he started dropping more weight quickly. Because that's what stress does to you. When you stress about results, you know, the cortisol levels keep high, it disturbs your sleep, and it's all connected. So just by not taking stress about things that are not in your control, also can you know produce better results. I think that's, so. a, well, that's one of the most important things for anyone who's executing their uh, meal plan or exercise planners. Yeah. Not be worried about results. Yeah, don't worry about that's the your results. coach's headache. Yeah. End of the tenure, you assess and then have a chat with your coach. That yeah. would probably put you in a better situation and get you better yeah. results. Yeah. Rather than yeah. stressing about how why did my weight not change today yeah. or tomorrow. <laughs> And the reason why I did not change Deepak's calories much is because I will continue to train him. I've told him, I mean, he'll come here maybe every few months uh, for a, a week or 10 days. He'll mm. come here. And so we'll train. And uh, by the way, he's, he's now doing 50 push-ups in a row. So now I've told him to start improving on the form. 50 push-ups in all, all three sets. Mm. So he's doing 150 push-ups now. 150. Uh, he has started doing some bit of pull-ups. He's still very heavy, very but he can heavy, yeah. hang on the bar for almost one minute, which is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So one minute. Yeah. One minute is crazy. I remember is the same guy who was not able to do five push-ups and he was taking the help of a box. Now he's doing 50 push-ups uh, in floor. a row 
in three sets. So 50, 50, 50. He's doing 150 push-ups in three different sets, right? So same guy, three months back, and same guy now. Find me a drug, you know, forget about muscle mass, forget about losing weight. You know, you can always say, yeah, sure, he must have taken semaglutide, and you can always say he must have taken some steroids to lose this weight. Find me a drug that can take a guy from less than five push-ups to 50 push-ups in a matter of three months. Not just 50 push-ups, 50, 50, 50, 150 push-ups. You know, you can't find a drug because no such drug exists. And so, you know, anybody who has ever doubted that transformations in fitter community are fake, you know, they're not fake. It's just that we understand nutrition and training much better than most people out there. And now you can see this. Anybody still have doubts should go back, watch this series as many times as you have to. And it's all very simple. You know, this is what I keep telling people. Fitness and nutrition is not very complex. People have made it complex. It's just a matter of forming habits. Habits. Simple. Habits. And behavior. And habits and behavior are so difficult that at today's time, you get easily distracted. So if you cannot get distracted and just focus on doing the basic stuff, no matter how boring it gets, that's basically your superpower. You know, and if you keep doing that, there's nothing in this world that you cannot achieve. If you set your mind to achieve something, remember the only only problem why people don't achieve that is because they are not focused. You know, they keep getting distracted. The surroundings, the people around you, they are always trying to distract you. So focus and repeat the basics. That's the end of it. Agree. Hundred percent. Do you have any message for the guys who are watching? Simple. <laughs> Uh, what you have actually mentioned already. If we have picked up two random people from the lot of 500 people or so. 400. Yeah. 400 or so. And they have achieved it. And we don't have any history. We just interviewed. We just picked yeah. them up. But we also had very little information about them. And we still were able to achieve this. I'm sure anyone who wants to transform and has that intention to transform, right? will be easily able to transform without any issues. Just apply the basics which are being discussed in Twitter and you should be able to see a better version of yourself in three months, six months or whatever time. Yeah. And just to reiterate, I had picked the worst of the worst candidate. <laughs> You know, Bala was picking the best of the best candidate and see if we can take this best candidate to make her even better because she has paired in all the competitions. Right? I had picked the really worst good. of the worst candidate, which means the guy who was the heaviest, who was the oldest and who was the worst in all the tasks. So if that person who was worst in all parameters can achieve so much in a matter of three months, I think anybody can. So. Right. Yeah, let's let's talk again next week next and week. Uh, hope you guys continue to do better. Take care. Bye-bye. See you guys.